YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR, and yes folks, we are back once again, and today we are back with a new build here. So, if you recall from the last episodes, we kind of wrapped up the Siren Head mini-series on it. Uh, you've got the big Siren Head, you've got the Siren Head Forest, and the little facility which the Siren Head Army is escaping from. If you missed those, I'll have a Tiny Town playlist down in the description. But, today... We're going to be moving on to something that we've kind of already touched on and a lot of people have been asking, and I mean a lot of people have been asking for an SCP facility, yet a lot of people don't realize that I actually have touched on that subject before. But today, we've got something a little bit different. So if you see the facility that we built, you can see all the, I like to just call them peanut, uh, you can see all the SCP escaping, uh, they're breaking people apart, snapping necks, and they're escaping from the underground portion, which I just destroyed a part of it. On, let's just hold ourselves up. And you go back, there we go. So if we come down here, you can see there is a part of it, like an underground facility too, which they escaped from. Now, there's gonna be another part of this story because I've got another character here. So if I pull it out, this is my favorite SCP, SCP-096. So 096, the model looks pretty good. It's not actually one of the models from the game. Uh, like that one is it's more of like a custom built one but we're gonna modify it so what's gonna be happening as this whole escape was happening we're gonna have on the other side of town probably right in this area there was a convoy that was actually carrying 096 to the facility but as this one was getting attacked the convoy was getting attacked too so I think we're gonna do it right here. We'll also change up some of this area instead of it just being just a plain like grass area Because if you look up, it's really bare through here So I feel like we need to stick something in here anyways to kind of wrap up this whole area So if you guys have any suggestions for future episodes comment below and we're gonna jump right into this If you guys are enjoying tiny town on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button and let's do this All right, so let's grab 096 and we're just gonna stick them over there so what we're going to be doing with 096, we're going to modify it. It's going to be mutated because they're being attacked. Let's go to military here, which by the way, for the guards for the SCP facility, we use the blue characters. So we've got those here and then we're going to need another faction here. So obviously I think the bad factions, which I think the faction that's going to be attacking the blue are going to be the, uh, the tan colored soldiers. So they have the tan uniforms. So the convoy was going along this road here, which let's enlarge this just a bit. We need like an area or a car they would have been keeping 096 in. So we'll have these up here. We'll say the attack happened about right in this section of the convoy. And let's see, let's go ahead and add, of course we need some like Humvees here. And then maybe a troop transport or two. So we'll have one leading it up here and it's gonna be kind of turned. So what were they taking 096 in? I would argue using this, or maybe, do we have something else a little bit more armored up? Hold on, let me look around a bit. I feel like there's something we can use for this. Ah, you know, I got an idea here. So maybe we can armor up one of these 18 wheelers and we can stick kind of like a cargo container on it. Actually, we might be able to make it look like there's a broken cargo container. And we'll kind of dress it up a bit to make it look a little bit more military-like. So it was in like a big little lab on the back. And that doesn't make sense. I think I just said big little lab. It was in a big lab on the back of the truck. We'll call it that. So I think that's the way we're going to do this. So if we grab containers back here, this is like the perfect size too. We're actually going to use two of these. Let's turn off snapping. We're going to make it look like they punched a hole in it, basically. So we'll turn the truck a little bit. It'll be kind of tilted over. And then we'll do one here, and then we're gonna do another one kind of here. Actually, we can't crash it into the cab. We'll need to just deform it a little bit. And maybe something like that. So we'll put like a puncture hole in here and some debris to make it look like maybe they punched the side of it to release 096. So I'll make this look right. It's gonna take me a second to figure out exactly how I wanna do this, but I think once we do it, it's gonna look great. All right, so I've got a bit of story here. So obviously you see they punched a hole in the side. It's still exploding. It's on fire. So they were there to capture SCP-096. 
096 and I think we're gonna have a helicopter like trying to lower this cage down in order to try to stick him in it but obviously that's not gonna happen because they made one little slight miscalculation by the way uh, 096 is gonna be a little bit taller than he actually normally is in like games but there's gonna be for good reason they've mutated him so we're gonna say, which by the way, I don't know what this faction's name is. We need to find a name for them because obviously they're an evil faction and we've had them attack several other things. But let me see if I can find somebody. Maybe this guy kind of looks like he would be kind of a mad doctor. We're gonna say this guy actually, uh, he might have stabbed 096 with a couple syringes, which I do have syringes, and uh, he might have gotten the wrong ones. So instead of putting 096 into more of a sleep so they can get him in the cage, he might have made him a little bit angry and mutated. So obviously this was a pretty grave mistake that you don't want to do with somebody like 096. So let's add some of the syringes here. So he's got some, maybe this is one of the other, uh, I guess you can call him a doctor? I don't know what they did, they actually screwed this all up by the way. Uh, but we're going to stick some of these into 096 to make him uh, get some of his powers here. Which, by the way, this is going to completely break any sort of SCP lore, which I know some people don't like when you do that. But this is kind of our own story here. I love the characters, by the way. So, yeah, they might have poked him a couple times here. <laughs> probably really angry, probably screaming a bit. But I've got another cool little piece I want to add. So we've got these red crystals, which to me, they almost look like these little clusters of like maybe some sort of mutation. So I think we're going to stick some of these into 096, uh, like he's mutating into something else. Now, besides being very big and angry now, what do you guys think some of his mutations might be if they were to mutate him? By the way, I think I'm going to replace these eyes real quick. I think I want red eyes. So let's zoom those down. Can I replace these? Does this work? Oh, ho, ho. oh, that looks rather angry. This one's a little smaller on this side. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Let's place those a little further back. That way they don't look like they're bulging out of its head. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty angry. All right, so we got the cage out here. Probably need to put like a helicopter overhead. We'll have like a battle going on in the streets. Uh, where the ambush is. Alright, so we need to get a helicopter overhead. Probably this one here. So, this would have been the one that lowered the cage in. It's still kind of going overhead, going, Oh, jeez, what did we just do? Uh, we really messed this one up, boys. Maybe he'll be a little bit lower and at this angle on this side. Alright, so I need to add a bit of a battle. And I wonder where SCP-096 is going. Potential that it's gonna go meet up with the others at the facility or it's just gonna go on a rampage and eat and Destroy everything it can which I think that might be a, a more likely scenario So you're probably asking how the ambush happen. I've got a bit of an idea here So what we're gonna do we're gonna convert this little set of land into kind of like an alleyway so they were waiting and maybe we'll have like a fence in front of it and they opened up the gate and they plowed in and maybe they hit it with a tank round or something. Alright, so I've set up a little bit more stuff here. So you can see I actually set up a motel over here. Uh, we've got the alleyway I was talking about. So you can see where the tank was actually setting. Ready to blow through the fence and blow into the side there. And then I think on this side, uh, we'll say they swooped in from behind the buildings over here to block off the end of the street. So we'll probably have another tank down here. Uh, ready for the front of the convoy. And then maybe we'll have uh, maybe a troop transport ready to go back here so they're gonna try to block off the street and then we'll probably do something similar uh, in the back that way they blocked them off back there too so maybe we'll have a couple of the humbees back here by the way somebody had something really funny they're asking where does the military come from here like how is there so much so we're gonna have to answer that question again in the future I don't know if it's gonna be a base some people suggested some sort of like floating base or something again which I think could be cool. I love that area of my last map, which I unfortunately lost, but still, we might have to do that again. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty here. So we gotta get some more boots on the ground. We're gonna have soldiers here, and this is gonna be like the group with the cage thinking, oh, we were gonna pull him into the cage when he was smaller and, and a little less mean. Uh, they might be panicking a little bit right now, but we're gonna have a group pushing the cage forward 
Because you know what? They're still going to attempt the plan, even though it's going to end horribly bad for them. Uh, they're going to be trying this. Alright, so we got some action happening here. This is looking a lot more active, and I'm really liking this scene. So, really the only thing I have left to do with some of the soldiers here is add weapons. Uh, we're going to have them fighting. Of course, the ambush happened back here. Some of the troops are actually unloading on this side. So, I'm going to have to deal out these real quick, and then we'll figure out uh, what we can do next. Alright, let's get down into the action here. So, you can see uh, that the forces are over here. They're actually getting the cage ready. Uh, they're trying to fight back some of the blue forces over on this side. But you can see they're taking some losses over here. It's not pretty. Uh, there's people pinned up against the cars or the truck. You've got the uh, couple soldiers running around this side trying to flank the soldiers over here. Uh, you've got SCP-096 in the background. This poor guy doesn't even notice that, which I don't know how you don't. Of course, you have the tank coming from the alleyway. You can see there's a little troop up there on the, uh, the 50 cal. Uh, you got some more blue soldiers back here uh, falling down. And then you have the back of the convoy actually exploding. So it's definitely going to pin them in to where they can't get out. Which, unfortunately, any backup that they could call, which I don't think they would deal directly with the army here. Uh, yeah, their backup, they're having some issues back here too. So uh, this is definitely not good for them. So now it's a question of, can they capture 096, or is it just going to be loose in the city? Which I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards that side, and this has kind of turned into a failed mission. Which, by the way, I was looking for a hook or something to put on the top of this cage, which I'm still going to search around a bit. I might be able to make one. That way it looks like it was just unhooked from there, and this guy's uh, going to hook it back up when they attempt. And I say, this is quotation, I can't do qu quotations. Uh, when they attempt to hook up 096, which we all know it's not going to happen. Not at all. Alright, I repositioned this guy. He's now got like a little hook in there. He's got a little axe. I guess if an emergency happens, he's got to chop that line. Uh, he can do that. Man, this looks cool. Hold on, let's look at this from up here. That really did add a lot to just this little area right here. Alright, let's go ahead and zoom out here. So, the next area we have is kind of over here by the mayor's office. And then, of course, we're right by the granny factory or the granny cloning factory. So we could probably tie in this area here, or I might just add trees and move on to another big area. Uh, we'll have to see. But let me know what you guys think of this. It's going to be a little bit smaller scene here today since we're not dealing with a ton of room. But I really like where this is going. So thank you guys for all the love and support on the Tiny Town series. You guys are absolutely amazing. And we'll see you guys next time in Tiny Town VR.